US-UK weather forecast shows a terrifying collapsed polar vortex freezing UK in December, from now up to December, to the winter. This is the, the freezing weather that we're having over North America, extending over the North Atlantic, reaching over towards the UK, down towards Europe. We've even had snow in Morocco, North Africa, all the way to India. Kashmir has had a huge snowstorm that has flattened 60% of their apple trees. Not only has the harvest gone in Kashmir, the trees are gone as well. 60% of the trees have been flattened by the weight of the snow. It seems that there was an opening where that polar vortex was not over the Mediterranean and just went under the Mediterranean, sweeping across northern Africa, bringing early snows and freezing weather. And uh, this is on Express UK by Kate Whitfield. So we have this collapsed polar vortex freezing the UK after a torrential rains that came before that. So this is ongoing after the flooding. Now they have record low temperatures. They're being warned. We had uh, uh, flooding rivers, flooding cities, and uh, now they're uh, cautioning for landslides uh, because of the inundation. Everything has softened up and is uh, very easily uh, easy to come down. Now, experts believe this polar vortex may be collapsing, which could result in brutally cold December weather for the UK and Northern Europe. The polar vortex, as we know, is the circulating wind up to 30 miles above the Earth, and it can have a knock-on effect on the climate that we experience on Earth. The spinning rapid winds above the North Pole impact the jet stream and our weather. If the polar vortex is strong, it keeps the cold polar air up north and does not impact the jet stream and push cold air over the continents. But if the vortex is weak, it allows colder air to push down over the jet stream and leak this icy, frigid air into our areas, into our atmosphere. And this is what's happening now. The meteorologists express uh, their opinion that the weakening of the stratospheric polar vortex is underway. And they say the past days of polar vortex reached 40-year record strength for this time of year. And they warn that it would likely strengthen even further, but its rise to power was stopped and reversed due to two pressure temperature waves that press onto the vortex, and that reduces the speed of the stratospheric polar jet stream. That's a strong sign of a collapsed polar vortex and high probability of sudden stratospheric warming event by the end of the year. The sudden stratospheric warming might be confusing, but it actually means colder weather on land. The event is called warming as the conditions warm suddenly in the stratosphere, but results in rapid cooling lower down as a result of the jet stream pushing the cold air down. Meteorologists say that the vortex disruption looks nailed on, but will it turn into our third uh, major warning, warming in three consecutive winters? We'll have to see. So this is the beast from the east of 2018. That was attributed to the sudden stratospheric warming, which saw the UK blanketed in icy weather. And the... Uh, Meteorologists forecast cold conditions already taking their toll on the whole of the European continent. The central area of the Mediterranean is looking to have some more severe weather. Strong winds continue to push that water and those winds and that rain northward. Heavy snowfall will go again across the Alpine region and to the east of that temperatures are well beyond above average. Temperatures will steadily rise across Scandinavia, but it's still cold here, in the UK that is. They say that we still have some snow to come. So we'll keep updates on this because obviously inclement weather really bad. 
Okay, so uh, the people in the United States, please be very careful. This is the NOAA forecast. Short range. Heavy mountain snow over central southern Rockies as well as the Great Basin Southwest. Heavy snow over upper Mississippi Valley and upper Great Lakes. There is a moderate risk of excessive rainfall over parts of the southwest and there is critical risk of fire weather over parts of north and central California still. A long stretch of warmer, drier conditions over parts of northern central California has primed that area for potential spread of wildfires and this air mass is expected to persist through Thursday. As such, there's a critical risk for fire weather across Northern California through Thursday morning. For the Southwest US, heavy mountain snow and moderate to heavy rain in the lower elevations is expected as a deeper, deep upper level low tracks east across the region. The precipitation shield will shift into the Southern Central Rockies High Plains as the front approaches. The intensity and during uh, of some of the downpours will likely lead to numerous flash flooding of many streams and potentially affecting larger rivers through Thursday morning. Much of central, west central and southern Arizona has a slight to moderate risk of excessive rainfall. Low pressure over the central high plains will move northeastward to the Great Lakes by Thursday evening and the associated front will move off the northeast coast by Friday evening. The system will produce rain and snow over parts of central northern plains into the upper Mississippi Valley Upper Great Lakes overnight Wednesday into Thursday evening. The snow will end over the Great Lakes Valley by Friday morning. Light snow will fall across the higher terrain of the northeast Wednesday night into Thursday and as the front moves across the northeast areas of rain, freezing rain will develop overnight Thursday into Friday morning. Rain will move into parts of the northeast overnight Thursday and Friday morning that will change over to snow on Friday. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.